Hello students, so here I am again with you for continuing with our self-learning sessions on the topic of water. But first of all, let's recall certain things from the previous session. That is, we discussed about the essentiality of water as the one of the most important natural resource and what exactly are the sources of this particular resource to us. Along with that, we discussed about certain other things just like well, step well, hand pump and other resources. And in today's class, in today's session, we are going to look forward to the next topic that is the supply of drinking water in our city. So what exactly is the technique that we use and how, who does this for us? And what exactly is the mechanism behind this particular process? So, there are certain officials or you can say governmental officials which are assigned for this purpose and the water that these particular officials get out of the resources is not suitable for human use. So, it is very essential for us that we make it suitable. But, how are we going to do it? We are going to do it by using certain specific kind of techniques like different kinds of separation techniques, purification techniques and this whole process will be done in a water treatment plant. So what exactly this water treatment plant is? It is a basically a huge setup in which huge containers are settled, are established and in these containers, there are certain specific kind of scientific techniques which are used, which are connected with the help of long pipes as well as different kinds of pumps. So what exactly the process is? Let's go ahead. The very first thing we should know about the supply of water is that it, it, it consists of different kinds of techniques. There are certain techniques involved in the process to make it drinkable, to make it usable. So, what these techniques are? The very first technique that we are going to discuss here about is the sedimentation process. Now, what exactly this technique is? This technique basically discuss or work, talk about that how exactly are we going to work on the suspended impurities. Now what are these sub suspended impurities? By suspended impurities we simply means that there are certain kind of solid particle impurities which are lying suspended, which are actually suspended, which are present in between the liquid. They are not settled properly, they are not dissolved properly, so they are considered as suspended impurities. And these particular impurities can be separated by leaving the container undisturbed for a very long time and depending on the amount of water that is present in the con particular container or the tank the amount for the uh, the time period f for which we have to keep it aside undisturbed will change more the water more the time now once the sedimentation process is done, the suspended particles have been settled down, we can move to the next step that is by transferring the liquid to the next container which is the second technique which is the loading technique and it is done in the loading tank. What exactly we do in this particular technique? First of all in this technique we need a, diff a specific kind of chemical and these chemicals helps in making the suspended impurities heavier. Now you all must be thinking, why am I taking the name suspended impurities again and again? So, what exactly is the reason behind that? The reason is that of course there are suspended particles which have been settled in the sedimentation tank. But there are various kinds of suspended particles or impurities which are going to be lighter in weight. So what will going to happen is they will remain suspended in the water. So for settling them we need these kind of chemicals which get attached to these impurities and they are now going to settle them down so that it can be separated. And one such basic chemical is alum. 
what do we call alum in Hindi? It is basically known as fitkari. I I think your father must be knowing about it. They generally use it in the aftershave technique. Well, anyways, let's go back to our process. That is the separation technique of the water treatment plant. Now, once the small or the lighter impurities have been separated in the loading tank, it can be transferred to the next tank that is the filtration tank. Now, the filtration technique is basically the technique in which the smallest impurities are separated with the help of a medium or you can say a filter. For example, if you want to sieve something out of a sieve, so in that condition, what you're going to do is you just simply keep that particular sieve as the medium and you keep the other material onto the sieve and you simply try to separate it out. We'll look into these techniques a little deeper later on but first of all here is an outlook of the whole process. Now this particular technique once the filtration technique is done we can move to the next step that is the chlorination. And this chlorination technique is the last stage of purifying the drinking water. What do we do? We actually add chlorine into the water with which we can kill the germs which are present inside the water. And once it is done, it can be sent for human purposes or human usages. Of course, if you want, you can give it a direct supply to the houses or the localities where the people are residing. Apart from that, if you want, you can keep it in a different kind of storage tank and from there you can supply it to the next area where you want to supply it. So this is how the whole technique works. Now, the next thing, that is the outline of the whole process, that is First of all, it is mentioned over here that the sources of water supply in the city is usually a nearby lake or a river. That is why we took this name that there can be any kind. There, there, in the filtration technique, we are actually separating the things which are coming along with these resources, uh, from these resources. Like for example, in lake, river, there are certain... Uh, stone, gravel, sand particle or some other kind of soil is there. So which we need to separate from the water so that it can be made usable or suitable for human usage. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go through the technique of purification and after the purification it can be transferred to the next stage that is the residential areas or the area where people are residing and they need water. Now, here the techniques used have been described again. That is the first of all is the sedimentation where the solid particles, the undissolved particles are going to be separated, will be separated from the water. Next technique that is the loading technique in which we are going to add a specific kind of chemical. Here you can see adding a chemical that sticks to the impurity and makes them heavier so that these impurities now can be separated out. Now, the third technique that is the filtration in which we separate the solid matter from the mixture with the help of a filter medium. This is what I was talking about. And the last technique that is the chlorination technique. And in this technique, we are going to add chlorine in different forms so that it can kill the bacteria and other microbes with which the water will be useful for us. So with this we are done with the water treatment setup or the water treatment plant. Along with this I would like to add another topic in this particular video that is about the rich culture of India where it believes in performing different kinds of sacred duties and actions. For example if a particular person or for an example if you want to travel so of course you are going to carry a water bottle along with you but what if in case the water that you are carrying is now over you don't have any more amount of water and it is quite clear that you will not get another shop for like say 
20 to 25 kilometers or more than that but you may find another thing which is very unique to our country and it is it has been used from very ancient time these are known as piau that is the ritual of our country where we actually give them water in the go what exactly do we do basically these piau are the free water stands in public areas where you can come forward if you are not uh, if you are feeling thirsty and from here you can take the amount of water you require <clears throat> and you don't have to pay for it yes it is absolutely free so this thing was supposed to be done by the kings the kings in our ancient uh, regions realms used to do it for the people for the travelers those who are uh, passing by their particular dynasty or the area or the villages the villagers used to do it and they uh, g give certain kind of they provide certain kind of offers to the people those who are traveling and if they are thirsty they can have water from it so this thing is known as piao i know this word itself seems a little bit funny but yes that is the basic term for it so what exactly is the phenomena or the f fundamental reason behind this thing that the people those who are not able to carry water along with them or they forgot to carry water with them they are not thirsty anymore if they want they can have water from these particular areas or these free water stands on the public area now here in this picture you can see that a person is trying to provide water to a child through these earthen pots but this is the ancient kind of piaus what happens is nowadays you may or may not find these earthen pots but you may find instead certain metallic containers or plastic containers with which you can actually have the satisfaction and fulfill your thirst so my dear friends this is the last topic for our for us and we'll meet again till then stay safe stay happy and keep learning don't forget to study bye bye thank you